uh, we are a few days away from the Asian Games. That's the good result in the Champions Trophy give a lot of confidence for all the boys. Uh, definitely, uh, as a Champions Trophy, the final was a bit hurting, but definitely the way we played uh, throughout the tournament was really good. And the best thing I feel like the consistency, how we play, and we we, we never showed a given given up attitude. So it's it's like a good thing uh, which I felt. And yeah, another one more month for Asian Games. The big event is coming up. So uh, I think the best part of Champions Trophy is that never give up attitude. And the second thing is that you can't take any team easy. So that is going to happen in uh, Asian Ga I mean Asian Games uh, because uh, the way we are playing in uh, Champions Trophy and when you are playing against the biggest team, uh, it's quite easy for us. But when you are playing with the lower team, it's more uh, important that you need to. Uh, you know, you need to concentrate on your performance first. Secondary, you need to uh, improve each and every matches. You can't, you can't go down to their level. You need to be at your level and play a match. So that is going to be the bigger test. And yeah, the, the next thirty uh, days, we are going to train on that only. Uh, so since the new coach came to the Indian team, you've pulled off a great uh, result in the first tournament itself. What do you think has clicked uh, for the team? Uh, don't call him a new coach. I think he is uh, he's there from the last. When I, saw, I knew him from past 15 years, so everyone knew him uh, really well. And definitely, that's a good start. Uh, uh, when you when you start up with a medal, that's a good sign for the team, and that's give you confidence even even when you uh, do with the top teams and you're beating teams. So definitely, that's an added uh, confidence to the team and the players. And uh, the style, the way we train, is totally different than anyone. So he knew how to handle the Indian players, how how we think, how we behave. So he knew each and in and out, each and everything about us. So it's quite easy for him to handle us, and it's quite easy for us to understand him. So when he when he get angry, we knew that okay, because of this he got angry. When he laugh, we feel like okay, this is why he is laughing. So uh, it's quite easy for us to exchange our feelings, uh, and that is visible on the field as well. So, do you think uh, familiarity with the coach uh, has helped a uh, lot in pulling off? Yeah, de definitely. I mean, uh, every coaches, the best thing of every coaches who we played under, everyone started to make a good relationship with between us, and uh, that's helped us to build up uh, a open relationship. Because if if anybody have any doubt during the game or after the game or after the tournament, they 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 can approach them, they can talk to them, so they get a very good feedback, they get good advices, so they can improve themselves. So these all things are really good. Uh, with every coaches and definitely Harinder sir is really friendly so everyone is quite happy to go and ask him to chat with him so that's a good thing. Uh, so I spoke to Harinder sir uh, earlier and he said uh, as soon as he took over uh, he expected all the players to adapt uh, to his uh, new system so uh, how easy or difficult uh, was it for See, all the players? Uh, I think in this team, uh, except two, I mean Dilpreet and uh, Vivek is the youngest one in this team, but the rest of them have played almost uh, last, I mean they are there in the team from last few years. So uh, they knew all the systems and they are flexible. So it's quite easy for them to understand the situation, understand the system and uh, adapt with that and play, execute on the field. And the youngsters, I think uh, the seniors are taking well care of them. So they are also feeling comfortable on the field playing with a new system. And uh, yeah, it's quite. Uh, it's not really easy, but still, we are working on that to get get that system into our playing style and improving that during the games. And uh, in I mean, during the championship, yeah, I can say that yeah, in some sort of way, we have done it. But still, there are room to improve. Uh, so, uh, as captain from the goalkeeping area, uh, is it easy to communicate uh, to the forwards? Uh, do you have command over them or? Is it through the defenders that you pass see on? on the field uh, in hockey? Definitely, who have the ball, who has the ball, he is the captain. He take the decisions. So whenever when I am stepping onto this field, I am a goalkeeper. I do my duty. So my duty is to command to players, adjust them. I mean, you know, to correct them, to I mean, you know, uh, organize my defense. So these all things what I am doing. So I am just doing that only. But I, even every area where the defense midfield is so forward, we have our leaders. Like uh, in defenders, we can take Birendra like the senior most one who take initiative. Midfielder Manpreet Sardar is there, and forward line uh, SV is there. So definitely they are there to take the responsibility. Leader, they are leading them. So what I do is just coaching. So on the field, I am the second coach. <laughs> okay. So uh, when when. Uh, 
senior player or even a junior player commits a mistake so how do how do all the teammates encourage him and say, what do they say yeah definitely hockey uh, is a game of mistakes who do less mistakes they always win and uh, that's what i mean the most thing we always discuss is who are making mistake the rest of the rest of the players will try to cover that mistake and rectify that mistake and get the uh, ball position so that's what we do we don't we don't blame each other mm. because yeah even even i do I, i do mistake so definitely the other players those who are playing in the forward line the score goes they cover my mistake so that's what we do and we we ask to do so it's a give and take policy now okay so uh, do you have any words of encouragement uh, when a junior player no normally it's like hindi koi baat nahi yaar chhod do no problem mm. i mean sometimes it's like some people feel like okay some somebody miss a ball they feel like if i i, if I want to scream at them mm. then they feel more confidence somebody like the other way they feel like koi baat nahi koi baat nahi so they want pampering mm. so we knew that okay somebody someone is hard hearted and somebody is selling so far so they feel like no 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 i can't do that mm. so that time you feel like koi baat nahi yaar chalo let's go next next ball mm. and in hockey we don't have that much time to you know feel sad or you know think about our mistakes it's only goalkeeper get uh, another 5 or 10 minutes to think about the previous mistakes but the players doesn't have time they make the mistakes they have to ready for the next ball so i think they just forget this to move on okay so uh, imagine a situation where you are defending uh, penalty corner uh what kind of preparation goes into studying the opponent and uh, how he's going to uh, take because as a goalkeeper you have to either predict which way he's going to shoot and say uh, prediction happens but it's it's not right that always it's going to be right uh i think penalty corner the penalty corner we we consider penalty corner it's like uh, the rush of players they equip well so by the time i look look so i mean like, you know look after this all set up what they are doing how how they are going to do it and that's all my command and the i mean the defenders follow me so i think the by the experience uh, i can figure it out okay how they are going to do it or sometimes yeah they do some surprise uh, variations that's the time we get uh, beaten but uh, rest of the times they are doing a really good job even you can say that last uh, Champions Trophy or penalty corner defense was doing really great. The defenders were fantastic. They they run like anything. So uh, that's uh, that's a plus point for us now. Uh, does it involve a lot of preparation, like studying the opponent? Definitely, video? definitely. You need to. I mean, you know, before the match, during the tournament, and even you need to watch the previous matches. So uh, you can. Uh, predict that okay these all things they are going to do but i don't know it's not 100% that okay they are going to do that they, they, there can be any changes but it's up to you that you need to change yourself i mean like according to the situation do you separately sit down and uh, analyze yeah, videos definitely or? definitely we we got our penalty corner attacking group we got our penalty corner defense group and even we got our team group so if someone get injured so we can we need to replace everyone into some i mean defense or attack so everyone has to know what is the person's role always hmm. so we we try to teach everyone that so so that we don't we don't run out from players for anything in the attack or defense okay and uh, when you talk about fitness and diet uh, are all the facilities good uh, in sai right now because uh, there was a situation with the food uh, that is okay uh, so lastly we are few days uh, away from the asian games and uh, what uh, uh, is it really the tournament that you're looking for because you need you can qualify for the olympics uh, if you win uh, definitely for the uh, asian countries this is the one of the better opportunity to get a ticket to uh, tokyo and the best part is asian game is that you get another two more years to prepare for uh, olympics games and uh, and that's that's kind of added pressure because uh, you know everyone want want a gold medal so the expectations are really high but uh, what i feel what my team feel is like it's all about us now it's about our performance it's about our consistency and it's about our talent so definitely we are focusing on that and we are not much worrying about what others are doing it's all about us what we are doing and it's all about our performance okay thank you so much thank you